Hey everyone, it's Chris with HotShotsCatering.com and I want to thank you guys for joining me for another great episode of Hot Shots TV. And uh, if you don't know who I am and why I'm dressed this way, then definitely like, follow, share, subscribe to this channel because you are going to love the content if you love coffee. Now, today's episode is going to be about that boring, ugly coffee kettle that you have right now sitting on top of your stovetop. You hate it, right? It takes a good hour to heat up with water to the right temperature, and it only lasts about 10 minutes after you turn it off to stay hot. Well, what I have in here, the fellow Stag EKG, this is going to change your life forever. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. And welcome back. So we're talking about pour over kettles today. In particular, we're talking about the Fellow Stag EKG. Now Fellow has a couple different other kettles, uh, but this one I wanted to talk about, we have it in stock. And not only do we have it in stock right here, but we also have it on stock on our website. So check the description box below. If you guys are interested in this, I will tell you that we are selling this product and at a very, very good price. Um, but we were not paid by Fellow to do this review and unboxing. Uh, we're doing this all on our own and we buy all of our wholesale products. So that being said, Fellow Stag EKG, Fellow Stag EKG Plus is their Bluetooth model, which is kind of interesting. It, it actually even hooks up to your iPad or, or phone or whatever. So they have that one. And then they also have another one. It's a Stag EKG, but it's actually more like a teapot. So it doesn't have the long pour over spout uh, that we'll get into here in a second. So let's go over this. Let's just do a quick unboxing, tell you what you get in the box, and then let's go over and see what this thing does, how it works and all of that. Uh, I guess the very first thing though, while we're looking at it, it is in a very nice box here. Um, and it even tells you on the back, I'm gonna just read and tell you exactly what it says. Have you guys take a look at this. So it says, the electric pour over kettle for coffee lovers meet Stag EKG. It's an electric pour over kettle that pours as good as it looks. Variable temperature control. So it's a PID system. Um, it's 1200 watts for a quick heat time and a world of features for climate control. Um, so it goes down to the degree uh, which is awesome. 1200 Watts, which is supposedly supposed to be really quick, uh, which I, I would agree with that if it's, if it's truly 1200 Watts, uh, it holds too. So it has a 60 minute hold. So unlike your tea kettle at home or coffee kettle or what have you, you know, let's say you want your coffee and you want to brew one and then you're going to brew a second batch or do something else. Uh, this will stay, it sounds like it will stay hot for up to 69 minutes, or excuse me, up to 60 minutes uh, with whatever temperature you want. You got your PID control, you got your uh, goal and current temp display, hold option, like I said, a brew stopwatch. So after your water is heated, Stag's EKG built-in brew stopwatch can time your coffee for the perfect cup of coffee. Uh, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit height and Celsius option. Um, and then the actual unit itself, like I said, I, I actually have one of these behind me. If you see behind me here, uh, I actually have one of these kettles. I've used it before. Uh, I've never used the electric pour model. So we're both learning about this today, uh, our electric heating model. Um, but that's going to be really cool. Let's do an unboxing. Let's take a look at this thing and uh, let's find out what is inside, shall we? So first thing we do, we open up this guy here. Very, very nice. Um, you know, all their products, if you're not familiar with Fellow, check them out on their website. Uh, the reason why we even keep their stuff in stock is because they have such a nice product. Uh, a very well-made product for the most part too. So, you know, we like to stand behind things that are, are good, <laughs> good for you. And so, uh, yeah, the packaging is really nice. Here's all of your uh, manuals and features, all that comes with that. Uh, then we have, of course, the lovely packing material. This right here is the actual kettle. So let's open this guy up. Plastic case here. 
Okay. It says, caution, kettle is hot when in use. Okay, hopefully if you do anything with water, boiling water, heating anything with water, you should know that by now that it will be hot. Uh, now this finishes the matte black. They also have a pink, they have a silver, and I think they also have a gold. They might even have a rose gold. So, I mean, if you're into all these different colors and you want something different, they have that as well. Now this one, unlike the one behind me here, this one does not have a temperature gauge uh, or th I should say a thermometer in it. Uh, the other ones do, so keep that in mind. Um, do not fill above the max point. Okay, that's kind of nice. It just tells you that there is somewhere, yeah. Right in here, it says max, so do not overfill it. Uh, you don't want to burn yourself or anything like that. Uh, really nicely put together. This is like sleekly in here, um, inlaid, so it's not like it's um, real obvious, like a big base or anything. Um, and it's just a really, looks like a really nice, nice, I would call this induction unit is really probably what this is of some sort. Um, yeah, so that's what the bottom looks like. Okay, now that's just the kettle. Then you have this base and this base is what does all the work. And like I said, they have another model. I wanna say it's around $200. This we have for around 150, um, which is a great, a great price. Um, if you're interested in this, like I said, we have it online. Uh, you're gonna love it. Let's see here. It looks like there's some switches. Okay, so this is for the hold. Uh, they have, so on the back here, they have a hold and they have a Fahrenheit and Celsius. Okay, so that's, that's your switches on the back of this thing. Um, they have their compliances. Nice little rubber feet here to kind of hold it in place. It isn't going anywhere. Um, let me just make sure I have this all on here. And then there's this little screen here that you're gonna see um, your temperature and everything coming in right here. And then this is your knob, which I'm assuming when you plug this thing in, it's gonna show you everything you need to see. So um, other than that, that's the unboxing. Really simple, really nice uh, setup here. And this just sits on top like that. And now you're ready to go. Fill it with some water, plug it in, and uh, let's see how she does. Okay, so before we start any testing or anything like that, I did wanna let you guys know, I did fill this up to that max line so that we can get good accurate readings as we're seeing how fast this thing actually heats up and performs. So before I put the kettle on here, I just wanna tell you, look how nice this is. This is actually like rubber down here. It's not just a plastic. Uh, so it helps kind of, when you put the kettle on top of here, it's not really going anywhere, which is, which is pretty nice. So all you gotta do is you fill up your kettle, you, you basically fill it up to that max line like I showed you. Now this is the control over here. Uh, this is where the display is gonna be. So you're gonna see all your temperature and where you want it to be set at. And then like I said, on the back side of here, there's two switches. The one on this side is for Celsius and Fahrenheit. And the one on this side is to hold the temp. Uh, now right now I have that turned off. So let's just start it up. All you gotta do to start the uh, unit is you just push down on it see the logo over there. Then you can even see where it says set 200 degrees. It's already at 80, 88 degrees basically is what it's telling us. Now you can set this all the way up to 212. Um, we can go up that far if you want. Uh, I'm gonna just start it at 200 just to see. Let's see how fast this thing heats just up to 200 degrees. So it's 89, 90. Um, and it's been what, less than 20 seconds already. So uh, it's gonna probably heat up here pretty quick. Matter of fact, you can already start hearing it bubble. See if you guys can hear this. I don't know if you can hear that. 104, there it's starting to get louder and louder. See if you guys can hear this. This thing is just taking off. So measuring it now, um, let's measure how fast it gets up to that 200 degrees. 
and then we will go from there. So guys, when you saw me actually point out this number here and stop the stopwatch, what I wanna let you know is, is when that number hits, whatever that number is, so if I have it set at 200, as soon as it hits 200, I'm considering that that somewhere in here it reached 200 degrees. Because uh, I've seen it before, as you watch it, it will go 200, 199, 200, 199. And basically, I think it's just that PID sensor in there, or however it's doing it, is just ticking on, on and off, just making sure that this stays hot. So that's why that number fluctuates. But let's do a temperature test with the thermal pop. I'm gonna pop this right down inside. It's saying it's 199, 200. Let's see if it's 199, 200 on this thermal pop. So right now it's saying it's 199, 200. My thermal pop is about a degree off, which actually is not too bad. It's pretty accurate, um, but it's saying it's, right there at 198. Um, now I can remove this. I don't really wanna do this, but let's see. I'm gonna just take this off and see if I can get this deeper and see what the temperature is. See if it changes at all. There we go. So yeah, we're, we're down into the water. When you actually get down into the water, you're closer to about 199. If you can see that there fluctuating back and forth. So about a degree off. I don't know if that's my <laughs> thermal pop or if that's the actual unit. I would say it's probably the unit, um, but, um, but anyways, it's really close. It's not four degrees off, it's not five degrees off, it's not 10 degrees off, but it could be up to about a degree off. And what I've noticed is even when I throw in the thermometer, it will go down to that lowest number. So see there, it says 198, 199, 200. I don't know if you guys can see that. Basically, it's fluctuating back and forth. And that lowest number is probably the closest accurate, which is what we're saying here is about 198. So um, let's see how it pours. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that. And, uh, and then that pretty much wraps up the video of this uh, unit and the unboxing. So we took a look at the Fellow Stag EKG and it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's not much more in this review that I can give you uh, other than just telling you my personal experience with the actual kettle itself and going into how that works with the pour over. Um, but before I get even into that, if you've made it this far in the video, I wanna offer you something. Uh, you guys that follow me and uh, watch all my videos, I really, really appreciate it. And for that, if you guys wanna get this, I wanna give it to you at a little bit of a discount. When you go to purchase this item on our website at shophotshots.com, when you go there and you check out, make sure you put in Hot Shots Fellow, okay? Put that in and you will get some nice little discount on this purchase that you make today. So be sure to check that out. If you don't remember that website, scroll back or go down in the description box. There's gonna be a link there to go to our storefront uh, and be able to purchase this product. And we're gonna have several more of Fellows products. Right now we have this on there. I believe we also have one of their uh, thermos mugs, which we're gonna do a review about too. Uh, and then several other products that they have. They have a lot of great coffee products for the coffee connoisseur. Uh, and everything from something like this, this is kind of their main line, is the kettles uh, and the electronic uh, steam kettles, heating and stuff. They have these standard kettles, which are pretty much the same. Uh, and then they even have vacuum sealed things uh, to kind of vacuum canisters, I should say, that seal in your coffee. And then also, like I said, I'll do a review of their thermoses and things like that that they sell, uh, which I think are really cool and uh, a lot different than most of the products that are out there. Uh, so that's what I wanted to offer you. Um, but let's continue on here. So we basically saw how this thing works. It works great. It heats up pretty quick for what it is. Uh, it's a PID controller. A lot of the fancy coffee people out there that are watching this, you know what that means, that that temperature is not gonna fluctuate like crazy. It's gonna be a pretty constant controlled temperature, which is what you want when you're trying to focus on a good cup of coffee. Um, and that's really it. I mean, it, it does that, it heats, it does everything like that. What I wanna talk about is the ergonomics of this thing. Um, now this is one that we use, uh, we have several of these, but we use these four events for pour overs. 
And we actually have our own system that actually is a little bit faster than this guy even. I think it's an 1800 watt unit. Um, and this is induction ready. So you can use this on an induction, uh, which is great. Uh, and this is pretty much the same colors you can see. These are pretty much two of the same units. This looks actually a little bit bigger and it's probably because it has this base on it. Um, but um, pretty much the same unit, identical. Now the only difference, like I said, this one actually has a thermometer. So when I put this on this induction unit behind me here and turn it on, this thing literally, when I put water in it and fill it up to the top, it can go up to 200 degrees. On this unit behind me is like a 4,000 watt unit. Uh, this is a hardwired unit behind me. It's a four hub, um, or four hub. But this thing, this will heat up above 200, 210 in about less than a minute probably something like that. So you could see the temperature variances and things, but if you don't have a stove, let's say, or, or you're going out camping or, or maybe you live in a, a tiny house or something, you know, this is a great option for someone like that, that wants to just have something quick mobile. Or maybe if you're just like me, you're living in a house, uh, you don't always have access to the stove or want to use the stove. You want something closer to your coffee machine or where you do all your coffee stuff. Um, then this is also a great option for something like that too. Um, so other than that, the ergonomics are great. You'll see uh, in a video here that I'm pouring basically uh, the coffee or excuse me, the water at a slow and high speed. Uh, so you can really have a lot of control over the fellows unit, um, the, the steam kettle here, and the wand really helps you to kind of really control. And the weight of it too, ergonomically, the weight is really nice. It feels good in your hands. You have control. It's not too much strenuous, too strenuous on your arm or on your hand, uh, which is great. But when you're doing these pour overs and you're doing things like that, you want to have a lot of control. You want to be able to kind of control how much water you're putting in there um, and uh, doing that during that process. So um, other than that, I mean, it's just overall, these are, are great pots. Uh, I've hadn't had any issues with these at all. Um, I wash them all by hand. Uh, but other than that, I mean, they're pretty, pretty self-explanatory. There's not anything too difficult about these to understand and how they're used. And they're very easy to use. Um, and there's not really any complaints or anything that I've heard about this stuff. So, you know, if you just want something that's really nice, going to last you a long time and something that you can use to get away from those old steam kettles where you're putting it on the top of the stove and you're waiting or you're doing something like this where you're measuring it. The Stag EKG is a great option. Like I said, if, you, if you're even more of a coffee connoisseur, you wanna go even further, we don't have it on our website yet, but we'll have the Stag EKG Plus, which is a Bluetooth model, which they have their own app and everything that you can actually plug on your iPad and see all the different coffee things, how much measurements, all this type of stuff that you wanna do for that perfect cup of coffee. If that's you, that'd be another thing I'd take a look at as well. And like I said, we'll have that all of this out on the website uh, at shophotshots.com. So other than that, that concludes this video guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, like and share my content, please. If you guys like what I'm doing, you know, definitely just go out to the Shop Hot Shots website. Uh, we have coffee on there as well. Uh, that's probably the least expensive thing on there. Uh, if you want to support what I'm doing here and you want to support us at Hot Shots, uh, any small purchases, things like that could really help us out right now. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to leave you guys with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you picking out. If you're looking at some of these and doing some reviews, this one I would not pass up. Uh, like I said, we have it at a good price on shophotshots.com. And uh, I will see you guys next week. See ya.